Here he is, Frito, the worst behaved kitty we have. I've finally gotten him now where I can catch him to go in for bedtime pretty easy. And I'm allowed to pet him when he's outdoors. You know, you never think that a kitty you spent so much time with as a little one would turn out to be such a stinker, but he is. I don't know, peaches might be worse than him. He's just a little more difficult than the other kitties for some reason, though. He's young, and maybe that's why he's maybe not gotten used to the way things are going to be, you know? Mom is mom, and you must do what you're told. I'm just glad I can finally pet him and stuff, though, because before he would run from me. You know, my, I have feral cats that were more tame than him. And that's after he spent a bunch of time in the house with me playing and stuff and had his own little fishing pole in there that I would play with him and everything. Oh, at least make it look all nice now, Frito. Yeah, you acting like a nice kitty. His nose was all dirty this morning. I don't know what he'd been doing. Poking his nose in a mole hole, maybe? I do love orange cats, but he's definitely got a stinky attitude. He's finally getting where he's exploring more and going down more on the property instead of just hanging out up here. Which is good and bad, really, because maybe he's not hunting in his area the way he should if he's hanging out at other places. I see him from time to time out the back, though, and that's where some of the other cats are hunting in the danger zone. So hopefully this one will not go the way of my last long-haired orange kitty, though, and he'll keep clear of predators, maybe. He's adorable. If only his attitude would match his looks. Frito, Frito, cute kitty. Definitely cute.